Okay, 1940, the last great war is over. Um, basic, well, there really isn't exactly a war. Well, there was a war. There was carpet bombing. Uh, basically, there was this black thing where basically pretty much it was black versus white. There's a bunch of black people running around and acting crazy and stuff like that. Like I say, the zombie tribe, what they like to do is they like to get people and they like to give them LSD. Somewhere around 1920 or so, beginning around 18-something, I start refining LSD and cocaine and heroin. So 1920, there are drugs everywhere. Everyone would tell you that. 19, um, 1920 to 1930 to 1960, there are drugs everywhere. It's like, who's not on drugs? Because drugs are legal and drugs are basically just everywhere. Well, kind of. I had regulations. I was like, you cannot use drugs and be working for me during the day. You can use them on your days off. Anyway, so what the Viet Cong like to do and what has been basically, I guess, restricted from human knowledge was the what, what they like to do out there in the jungle because it was hot and it was really boring. And like I said, there was American military, but there was also, and there was also some German, some Germany military too out there. Um, that's what what they've tried to restrict from 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 everybody's knowledge is that there were German there were Germans, there were Germans running around all over Vietnam, you know they, they there were still Germans a lot of Germans of course, and there were and there was even a German outpost around there, so anyway because I mean I'm Germany, I own Germany so there were Germans I think there might even there were even Russians out there, anyway so but there's also Americans, anyway so. Um, so anyway, so what they like to do out there in the jungle, they're not supposed to, though. But what they like to do, though, is they like to drink this, what they call jungle juice. And what it is, is it's LSD and probably methamphetamine and all mixed together with this really potent, like, alcohol juice. There's like this really, I don't know, I've never tasted it, so but I've heard about it. It's like this alcohol juice that's like... Um, I don't know, I think it's like a purplish or like a reddish color or something like that. It's got a lot of sugar, it's got a lot of alcohol, and lots of sugar. It's like, like just on the sugar alone, it's like, diabetic shock. Uh, uh. Um, so then they like to put in a little LSD, and they like to put in a little methamphetamine maybe to get them through the night. Although it's already hot as hell out there. Like, like it was already hot, so it's like... You're in 90 degree heat at night and you're using LSD and methamphetamine. Are you nuts? Anyway, so, and then it'd be like, it's hot, it's hot. And they'd be all stripping off their clothes going, where are the girls at? All hard. <laughs> like the Viet Cong used to actually laugh at the American citizen because they'd be all stripping their clothes off and their dicks would be like, boing, like straight out. And they'd be like, it's hot. <laughs> like all out there. After drinking what they call jungle juice. I think I'm going to work out. <laughs> like doing push-ups as like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> anyway, so there's some civilian contractors out there. And some of the people would be like laughing because they could like, like the dicks are so hard. Anyway, um, you know, so, so it, it's it's kind of like a party atmosphere out there a little bit. And there are girls, of course. And they're all like, oh, oh it's so hard. Oh. Anyway, of course, there are, there are women out there, and and so they like to drink the jungle juice and drink the and drink the little bit of LSD and uh, I don't know a little bit of methamphetamine, mix it all up, and then they like to go, and like one sip was like, Ooh, you know, like like you're gone, on one sip, like 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 literally the Viet Cong would would, would tell these soldiers, do not drink three sips, you can have one. We could have two, but not three. Anyway, no three. Uh, they they would tell the, uh, the 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 Americans there. So anyway, so one guy one time drank five. He just went. <laughs> what? And they're like, oh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> this guy who just he drinks like a third of the container. Like, it's a juice jug, and it's good enough to drink, like, you know, all 12 guys can go two sips. And you're supposed to take you're supposed to take one sip, pass it around, take another sip, 
and then pass it around and then, you know, um, do this, you know, do this maybe at most three times, you know, and, and there's, and one guy gets an extra sip and they, they, whoever makes it up chooses where, where to start basically. Um, so he'll get an extra sip basically. So anyway, it's a game. Um, anyway, and there'd be like some girls there of course too. So anyway, so like I say, this guy who gets there has never done this trick before or done, or done this stuff before. He's like, <laughs> And like, uh, and like drinks like a third of it. And they're like, because like, it is like, like seriously, three drinks is enough to basically make you see stars <laughs> or something like that. Like, like you will be gone. It is the really potent, like the sugar covers it all up or something like that. They, they, they have this way of like, like way of making it. So where you don't really taste it, it just kind of tastes strange anyway. So he drinks like a third of the thing and then he nearly like i think they have to medevac him out actually he's like sweating and oh, and and just like you know like like he loses it and goes nuts and starts screaming i think i think they said he ran off into the forest or something i don't really really know i just know about <laughs> i just heard some of the stories about about what what it was they were doing i was like what are they doing and they're like well sir they're drinking jungle juice i'm like what is jungle juice and he explains it to me. I'm like, well, that explains a lot. Okay, I see. Okay, pull everyone back. Let's get those guys out of there. Oh, God. I feel like I'm escorting children around here. There are Germans there. There are Russians there. There are Viet Cong there. There are Chinese there. There are girls everywhere because there's money everywhere. Like, I'm paying everyone. Everyone's getting paid. So, and they're building a freeway through the jungle, basically. And so they're really bored and they don't really have anything to do. So they drink, so, so they all, so, so, so they have the, like, hey man, do you got, do you got some jungle juice? Yeah, 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 we're gonna make it up tonight. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like that. Anyway, so, so my guys, see, they're, they're military and there are civilian contractors. And the civilian contractors use military clothes and military gear, but they're not really military. And they kick it with the, with the Viet Cong a lot. Because my guys, well, my guys do too a little bit, but, but my guys, you know, my guys are the, are the real professionals and, they, and they're like, they don't do, they don't, don't, they don't, I don't drink no jungle juice. You know, so like, <laughs> a lot of people be like, I don't drink no jungle juice because it's LSD and, and methamphetamine. Anyway, and maybe a little bit of heroin. I'm not exactly sure. Just to calm you down. It's like this really, it's like this stuff where it's like voodoo. The voodoo god gave us this drink and it's jungle juice. Anyway, everyone does it. So anyway, I hear about it. So yeah. Anyway, so one night, these guys, they start hearing sounds. Like, it's an attack, man. It's a, get to the cannon. And they like start firing off the cannon. <laughs> Yeah, no one actually got hurt, I don't think. Um, they were actually shooting at some people. or it's Like, they, they didn't know where they were shooting. Like, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, and um, and sometimes some of them go crazy and they'll run off and run into the bob wire or something like that. Like, I'm not exactly sure. I'm like, I want to know. I want to find out. Send in the troops. Find out what's going on in there. And so, like, sometimes... And they get all paranoid, too, because it's like, he's going to know, man. He's going to know. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, probably when there's three or four people that die at your site. Yes, I'm going to know. So anyway, apparently, I don't know. They may have have gone into cardiac arrest. I forget if they, I think a couple of them were shot in the back, though. So there's a lot of question. And basically, I'm like, all right, those guys are out of there. They're not working there anymore. The Viet Cong had bullet wounds in the backs. And somebody says they shot themselves in the back. It's like, how exactly is that possible? So anyway... So it's really one of those unknown... I think I eventually do find out, though. There's a report on it. But yeah, jungle juice. 